task management tools are here to help you stay organized, boost productivity and make life a little easier. They've come a long way from just being a digital to-do list. Now they are packed with features like automation, time tracking and team collaboration. And there is one task manager that has always stood out for me, Asana. My name is Daniel and in this video I will dive into an Asana review. I'll talk about its features, pros and cons, pricing and of course the reason why I think it's great. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's get started. What is Asana and how does it work? Alright, so you have probably heard of this tool called Asana. But you might be wondering, what exactly is it and how does it work? Well, let me break it down for you in simple terms. Asana is a project management and productivity platform that helps teams and individuals stay organized and on top of their work. It's kind of like a command center for all your tasks, projects and collaboration. Imagine having one central place where you can see everything that needs to get done, who is responsible for what and when it's all due. That's the magic of Asana. The way it works is pretty straightforward. You can create projects, which are like the big overarching initiatives your team is working on. Within those projects you add tasks. These are the individual action items that need to be completed. You can assign tasks to specific team members, set due dates, add comments and file attachments, and even break bigger tasks down into smaller subtasks. It's a super visual and intuitive way to keep track of your work. The bottom line is, Asana is a game changer when it comes to keeping your work and your team organized. It takes all the chaos out of managing projects and makes it easy to stay on top of your to-do's. Plus, it helps foster better communication and collaboration which is so crucial these days. Main features. Alright, so we talk about what Asana is and how it can help you get your work and team organized. But what are the actual features that make it so powerful? Let me run through the key ones, so you can see what Asana brings to the table. First up is the task management side of things. Asana makes it super easy to create and organize all the individual tasks that need to get done. Whether it's for a big project or just your daily to-do list, you can attach documents, set due dates and assign tasks to specific team members. It's like having a centralized hub for keeping track of everything. Another really handy feature is the calendar view. This lets you see all your tasks and deadlines laid out on a visual calendar, so you can get a high level sense of what's coming up. It's great for getting a bird's eye view of your team's workload and spotting any potential bottlenecks or conflicts. You can even sync your Asana calendar with your regular Google or Outlook calendar, so it's all in one place. One of my favorite Asana features is the boards view. It works a lot like a Kanban board, where you can visually map out the different stages of your project or workflow. You can have columns for to do, in progress, awaiting feedback and so on, and just drag and drop tasks between them as they move forward. It gives you a super clear visual way to see the status of everything at glance. Now collaboration is where Asana really shines. You can mention teammates in comments to loop them in, attach files for them to review and even set up dependencies between tasks. That way everyone knows what they are responsible for and when things are blocked or ready for the next step. It helps cut down on all those scattered email threads and confusion. And speaking of communication, Asana has some nifty features to help keep everyone in the loop. You can set up custom notifications to get alerts when tasks are due, comments are made or projects hit certain milestones. There is also a handy mobile app so you can stay on top of things even when you are on the go. The last thing I will mention is Asana's reporting and analytics capabilities. You can generate all kinds of helpful visualizations and dashboards to track progress, identify bottlenecks and get a better handle of your team's productivity. It takes a lot of the guesswork out of project management. Pros and cons. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Alright, and now let's talk about Asana's advantages and drawbacks. I will start with the things that I really love about the app. First, Asana is packed with helpful features 
especially if you are working in a team and want to stay organized without spending a dime. Unlike a lot of other project management tools, Asana's free plan actually gives you a lot. You can create unlimited projects and tasks, message team members, track activities, and even connect it with time tracking tools for free. If you are working on simple projects with a small team, you might never need to upgrade, which is pretty awesome. One of the best things about Asana is the different ways you can view your work, you can organize your tasks as a list, see them on a calendar, use a Kanban board, or even look at a timeline. This lets everyone work in the way that suits them best, and it makes it easy for project managers to get a big picture view of everything that's going on. Asana also has a cool automation feature that lets you set up workflows for repetitive tasks. It helps save time, cuts out some of the busy work, and keeps projects moving smoothly. Asana is also great for teams that use Agile or Scrub methods, which is awesome if you are into sprint planning, bug tracking, or any kind of project that evolves over time. It's flexible enough to fit different styles, and Asana even has guides to help you get set up. Overall, Asana's simple design, powerful features, and flexibility make it a great choice for all sorts of teams and projects. It's really made to keep everyone organized and connected, no matter how you like to work. But like any other app, Asana could use some improvements. For example, Asana's mobile app is available on iOS and Android, but it doesn't offer the best experience on a small screen. It's fine for quick updates, but if you are trying to do detailed work, the desktop version is just way more practical. One of Asana's quirks is that you can only assign each task to a single person. This is meant to make it clear who is responsible, but it can be frustrating if you want to give multiple team members responsibility for the same task. But I have to say, folks, there are workarounds, like adding collaborators or duplicating tasks, but it's not quite the same as having multiple main assignments. Another thing that some users find annoying is the flood of email notifications. By default, Asana sends a lot of alerts, which can quickly clutter your inbox. Luckily, you can customize your notification settings to reduce the email overload, but it's something you will need to adjust right off the bat. Lastly, while Asana has beefed up its security for enterprise users, the lower tier plans don't come with the same level of protection. Basic plan users in particular should be aware that Asana collects usage data, including mobile data, pricing. Folks, when it comes to pricing, it seems like Asana has a suitable option for every user. There are three subscription plans for individuals and small teams, and two for larger businesses. Considering all that Asana has to offer, I would say that all pricing plans are pretty affordable. And guys, in my opinion, the free personal plan is what really makes Asana stand out. It's amazingly generous for team collaboration, allowing up to 10 people to work together. It doesn't hold back on the basics. You get unlimited tasks, projects, messages, and file storage. Plus, you can organize work in list, board, or calendar views, which makes managing projects a bit smoother. You even have features like recurring tasks and bulk actions to help with repetitive work. Asana also stands out with its range of integration on the free plan. With over a hundred options, it's impressive that so many are available without needing to upgrade. While you won't have access to every integration, the free plan includes a pretty good selection to connect Asana with other tools you might already be using. There is an option to get a monthly subscription or get billed annually. As usual, the annual subscription comes with a nice discount, and apart from all that, Asana offers a 50% discount for non-profits, which is a really nice touch. Final thoughts. Is Asana worth it? So folks, after diving deep into Asana and sharing all its features, pros and cons, it's time for my final thoughts. I've been using Asana for a while now, and for me the question of is Asana worth it has an obvious answer, absolutely. Whether you are managing a small project or coordinating a large team, Asana offers an impressive range of tools that can help you stay organized and boost productivity. The versatility of its features, from task management to collaboration and automation, makes it a powerful ally in any workspace. The fact that the free version is so robust is a huge plus. Allowing teams to collaborate effectively 
without breaking the bank. And while there are some quirks, like the mobile experience and task assignments, the overall experience is designed to keep teams connected and focused. In my experience, Asana has transformed the way I manage my tasks and projects, providing clarity and structure to what could easily become overwhelming. If you are looking for a task management tool that can adapt to your needs and help you work smarter, I can confidently say Asana is worth it. Alright my friends, and that's all about my Asana review. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.